Hello Udemy, I am Shahzad Ahmed from Chexi.com and welcome to lecture number 10. Uh, today we are going to learn form helper using coding Nighter. Make sure uh, we are working on coding Nighter series. And in the last lecture, uh, you learned how can you use URL helpers. So in simple words, if you are talking about helpers, so each helper, each helpers provide you some functions, more than one functions, 10 functions, 1000 functions. So each and every helper provide you some functions from a particular domain make sure if you are talking about form helper you can create your forms using form helper make sure uh, which form input tag equals to text or input tag equals to file text area and uh, so i told you that you have the basic knowledge of htm html and some css css is not required but html is required because we are going to uh, use html inside these this series so first of all make sure we have a home controller and we have a single controller home from our first lecture to now so we have a controller name home we have a method whenever you want to access your controller it will automatically execute your index method so it's it, it's very basic so remove this code and make sure before using any helper you must load that helper so uh, in the last lecture we learned url helper for now i'm saying this load helper but now form helper so go to your directory go to your home controller so working fine that means working fine whenever you make a mistakes means triple s so it's the wrong helpers coding nighter is not providing this type of helpers go to your browser refresh the page so now it's saying unable to load the request file helpers forms helpers so this forms helpers is not available available so make sure triple s so this type of form is not exist so that's why it's saying unable to load so make sure proper form helper working fine so first of all we are going to load this load a view named make sure we have a single view named home okay where is your home go to your application folder views so here is your home.php so remove that bad boy and i'm saying not form now i'm saying not url i'm saying form go to your browser refresh the page now it's saying form helper and make sure right click view page source now you have a single h1 so i'm going to we have just loaded our form inside our index method so we are loading our index uh, our view inside our index method okay so here is your view so now i am saying form open what that mean i am saying form a open we are not passing anything inside here okay now go to your browser refresh the page it so it's working fine good go to view page source so now you can see it's saying form and it's automatically creating this html syntax using this methods so it takes few parameters what are those parameters first of all you are i'm saying that echo form close okay so now i am starting the form make sure here is you are starting the form but you are not closing the form so i am saying start the form close the form and i am saying whenever someone click on a submit button uh, you can submit this form to which home 
controller and uh, for suppose login okay so login method is not exist inside your home controller we are going to create it okay but for now go to your page go to your browser refresh the page and uh, right click view page source you can see you are now open a form and you are now closing a form okay so you are sending this form to your home controller and login methods so by default it's saying method equals to post and access characteristic utf8 so now you you can pass your associative array means here i'm saying because method it's i'm saying get go to your page browser refresh the page and now it's saying method get okay you can pass third parameters means if you have some hidden uh, informations you can pass this informations to third parameters and by the way you can pass single hidden file or you can pass associative array okay for now we are saying that we are not going to use these okay so you are just passing one argument refresh so one argument by default it's saying okay fine so i'm saying form input it takes few parameters if you are talking about few parameters so it's saying data value and extra value so which is data i am saying this is my name okay value i am saying uh, nothing and uh, i am saying uh, in third parameter so here is class and i am saying in the class one class so go to your page go to your browser refresh the page so now you can say you have just created your text field so here is your text field input type equals to text name equals to my name so data means my name means your name here is your your name value equals to null if you are saying value equals to this so it's generate you by default value so this is your by default value so it's the basics so that's why i told you you have the basic knowledge of you can pass you can also pass your uh, associative array how can you pass it for suppose my array my array this is the variable and here is your array array i'm saying type i'm saying text make sure separate with comma and i am saying uh, name equals to my name and you can say that class is my class so now you have an array and you have associative elements you have associative array and you are storing this array inside your my array variable just pass single variables now refresh the page so this is the same thing you are doing so now it's saying type equals to my name equals to name equals to my name i am my class you can see my name if i i i am saying name so this is the same thing name name equals to name you can pass placeholder whatever you want to pass inside your associative array so it's depend upon you which which method you are going you are using or i am saying so this is the form input and i am saying form drop down form make sure this is form and i am saying drop down make sure this is the drop down it takes 
few parameters means four parameters so first of all data options selected value and some extra and uh, i'm saying that uh, where is my data so i'm saying options this is the variables we have just created and uh, we are assigning an associative array and i'm saying here is one one and i'm saying two and i'm saying two okay first of all give that name i'm saying data uh, i'm saying my option and pass this associative array inside options make sure you can this is a selected okay by default which element you can select you can pass two okay so you can pass a single string or you can pass an associative array how can you pass this you can pass associative array make sure whenever you uh, i'm saying that class so my class so this is your class and go to your form refresh the page so now you are you have a drop down so this is your drop down and make sure by default two is selected not two selected two is selected one two by default here is your options selected two okay cache one two two okay this is not a associative array so by default two is selected because you are saying two is selected and uh, here is your class you can view page source you can view page source here is your select select name equals to my options class equals to my class here is your value one two so you can see here is your values so now you have your drop down you have your uh, input field but what what about your form text area so here is your text area you can pass associative array like this or you can pass some parameters some useful parameters how can you do that i am saying uh, my text area and this is the value and you can pass associative array in third parameters or you can pass associative array like this okay i'm saying my text area go to your page refresh the page so now you have your area you have your drop down area oh sorry i'm saying drop down area this is not a drop down area i'm saying this is a text area so you have a text area and uh, i'm saying okay you have your text area so now you have your text area you can pass extra things like array associative array i'm saying rows how many rows 11 rows i'm saying calls how many columns in this text area 10 so you can refresh the page now view page source you have calls 40 rows 10 okay i'm saying that text area calls rows okay calls and rows okay so your text area is working you can say i have a placeholder so separate with comma placeholder i'm saying working make sure here is your associative array refresh the page placeholder working so you can define anything inside here so now you have your 
text area comment this text area and we are oh, okay not you cannot comment this because form start from here form closing here and uh, so what about if you want to okay how can you you are learned text area you have learned so now you have i think uh multi select okay we are not going to use multi select because uh, okay now uh, it's time to check the form checkbox so here is your checkbox it will take some parameters first of all data i am saying my checkbox value what is the value of this i am saying one and pass true by default it's checked and you can pass extra class here or you can pass associ associative array if you if you want to pass class id and whatever you want to pass okay go to your forms refresh the page so now you have a checkbox by default it's selected and make sure view page source now you have a checkbox named my checkbox value is 1 and by default it's checked make sure if you have multiple checkbox copy that bad boy and paste that bad boy <laughs> and change the value this is 2 and uh, by default it's by default it's not selected go to your form refresh the page so here is your second it's not checked by default so you can create multiple check boxes using this method for what about uh radio button so here is your radio button it can, you can pass four parameters like this so data so here is your data means here is your radio name and uh, you can pass value one for suppose mail by default mail is selected so you can pass true and you can pass you can set some uh, extra attributes inside here if you are passing if you are if you want to create a single class so you can pass just a string if you want to create uh if you want to define class id and uh, some other attributes you can pass asso associative array here okay i'm not going to pass anything here so now go to your you can comment this refresh the page so now you have your radio button so in your radio button view page source you can see your radio name and values mail checked equals to checked and make sure if you have another radio button clone it and i'm saying female and by default it's not selected so i'm saying false go to your form refresh the page so now it's not selected make sure view page source so you have two radio buttons first is male second is female so how can you submit this forms i am saying uh, submit form submit it takes few parameters which parameters i am saying uh, what is the name of this buttons i am saying this is my name my my submit okay i am saying what is the value i am saying that uh, my first form go to your page refresh the page so now you have your submit form whenever you whenever you whenever you hit the enter button or click on the button it can submit your form to your home controller and login method make sure we have not created login method yet okay so now you can click on this so it can submit 
your form from home controller and login method so make sure we have we, ha we must create public function here is your method and uh, I'm saying don't worry if you don't know about uh, input I can explain it further uh, I'm saying post and so I'm receiving these values radio button here I'm saying clean on it in second parameter I'm saying true and just echo that out so go to your home controller refresh the page so now you have a male and female so click on the female button click on the submit button so it's saying female so first suppose if you can enable this so what happens I'm saying that uh, I have a form so here is your drop down text area checkbox radio buttons so I'm saying that uh, okay we we are just going to receive text areas values and this values so I'm saying my text area copy bad boy paste it here and uh, so we are not going to receive checkbox we are receiving my options okay here is your options so refresh the page I am saying text area here I am I'm selecting one make sure checkbox hit the submit button so it's saying my text area you can separate by doing by adding BR go refresh so it's saying mail okay it's saying text area so you have successfully created your form and uh, you have received your form from here don't worry if you don't know about this we are going to cover this uh, this functionality from our later lectures so for now uh, this is your form controller make sure you can uh, if you want to send some videos audios or uh, some files you can form file form oh sorry upload upload it takes some parameters make sure name file name I'm saying that uh, my file name make sure if you uh, if if you are going to submit something like images videos you must use this method which method I'm saying form open but in this case multi parts so it can take few parameters like your form open method so you are saying first of all submit this form to home controller and login set your attributes and uh, some hidden files so go to your page refresh the go to your home controller go to your home controller refresh the page so now you have your form view page source you can watch your view page source and you are now you can see you have your encrypt multi-part form data so whenever you want to uh, you are going to submit a, uh, a form with images you are uploading images you are uploading some videos audios you must define encrypt multiple form data inside your form so that's why we have used form open multiple so this is the form helpers provided by coding nighter you can learn uh, label functions and some other functions but we have just defined these functions so these are the useful functions which you can use in 
inside your entire application or entire website so for now i am shahzad ahmed uh, from shakzi.com thank you for watching